Riding for Hope. Seven cyclists are traveling cross country in honor of our veterans who push themselves beyond all limits to protect and defend our freedoms. The ride across USA is in the home stretch now, which has taken them through parts of the Tennessee Valley. WFF 48's Marie Waxel caught up with the group as they pedal through the shoals today. She joins us live from McFarland Park with more. Marie. Mark, with a little under a thousand miles left to go, this group is motivated more than ever to finish their mission. And with the 4th of July tomorrow, this group is an amazing example of what it's like to have pride for our country and for all those who've served. Military is in my blood, so I thought that's a great cause to help right now. I learned a statistic in the Washington Post that said that in 2012, an average of 22 service members a day killed themselves because of PTSD or whatever problems came out of, of, of their serving. And that to me was just devastating. And I thought, we've got to help them. With a desire to help, these seven cyclists are on the ride of a lifetime, traveling 3,000 miles from sea to shining sea, riding for hope. I never got to see the country like I, I have seen it on this ride. We've really been through so many small towns and met so many people. It's just been amazing. The cause holds an even deeper meaning to Army veteran Bill Blue and Navy Vietnam veteran Clay Smith, who understand the sacrifices made by our troops. The Hope for the Warriors organization focuses on restoring lives for our warriors and their families in post 9-11 wars. Sort of like Vietnam veterans, I think. They're almost like the forgotten warriors. Uh, there's a lot of mixed feelings in, in, the, in America about this, whether we should be there or not be there. And sometimes this, the the soldiers get left behind. These are our, our veterans. These are the ones who, particularly after 9-11, volunteered to go fight for our freedom, for what our country stands for. And it's, it's emotional because it's July 4th, because we've ridden how many miles? 2,700 miles. We're tired. Uh, really, the truth is, though, it, it just touches our heart because we are Americans, we are patriots, and these are the, the people who deserve it the most. Now, for more information on the ride and the hope for the Warriors organization, you can visit our website. Just go to WAFF.com and click on this story. For now, reporting live in Florence, I'm Marie Waxel, WAFF 48 News.